one of the more challenging problems is to be given information regarding two scores in the same normal distribution and then be asked to determine the unknown mean and unknown standard deviation. It requires an understanding of several concepts covered, so it's very beneficial. Suppose I was considering purchasing a motorcycle, but had a coupon and opted instead for a moped. No worries, I will still slap some Hannah tattoos similar to actual tattoos that real bikers wear and ride like a bad man through town. But being the thrifty individual I am, I would like to know the miles I can expect to ride on one tank of gas. As it turns out in this very realistic story, which is actually not true, my wife felt that even a moped was too much bike for me, the miles traveled on one tank of gas are normally distributed. If 240 miles is exceeded by 70% of the full tank riding distances and 90% of the full tank distances are at most 275 miles, find the mean and the standard deviation. One of the wisest things to do is to draw a normal distribution placing the x values in appropriate locations along the x-axis and then showing the area under the curve below each x value because the normal CDF and inverse norm distributions are based upon proportions below a particular score. So to do this we need to read carefully. If a score is exceeded by 70% it implies 70% above and more importantly 30% of scores below it. At most 275 miles implies the most it could be is that so 90% of the scores are less than or equal to 275. Here's where it takes some understanding to proceed. Hint, if you get stuck on a normal distribution problem, convert to a z-score, because z-scores tell you the position on the x-axis in terms of standard deviations from the mean. So, should we find a z-score at this point in the problem? You bet your sweet bippy we should. We need the z-score for 240 miles, which has .3 scores below it. Using either inverse norm or the z-table, we get negative 0.524 for the z-score. In every normal distribution, the z-score at the 30th percentile is negative 0.524. In similar fashion, we can learn that z is 1.28 for the 90th percentile, and that's where the 270-mile amount is located. Okay, so now what? Well, let's look at two ways to solve for the mean and standard deviations, mu and sigma. First, the formula approach. We have two unknowns, thus we need two equations, one z-score formula per each mile amount given. Solve the system. I would start by solving for sigma and then setting the two expressions equal to each other. After a little algebra, we would get mu is equal to 250.17. Now substitute this mean into either of the two equations and solve for sigma. Rounding answers to the tenths place, we get a mean of 250.2 miles per tank with a standard deviation of 19.4 miles. You can choose any approach you'd like, but I prefer to visualize and attempt to understand as much about a situation as possible. Knowing z-scores describe distances in terms of standard deviations from the mean, then the 35 mile difference between our two mile values must be 0.524 plus 1.28 standard deviations apart. Hence, 1.804 sigma equals 35 miles. This implies a standard deviation of 19.4 miles, and from 240 up to the mean, it is 0.524 of these standard deviations, thus the mean must be 250.2 miles. A simpler version of this type problem is if you were given just the mean and had to find the standard deviation, or vice versa. 